If you don't want or don't need to go to the extreme of partitioning your hard drive and then installing Windows to run natively on your Mac, then a less intimidating but very efficient way to run Windows is through emulation. The runaway leader of the Windows emulation game is Parallels. Their desktop product has been around for ages, and there's some significant benefits to using it. So let me show you how it works. Before you install it, you have to have consider one thing, which is the amount of RAM you have in your computer. A one gigabyte system will probably run pretty well, but really two gigabytes or even more is better because this is a very RAM-centric task. Everything is loaded into the random access memory of the computer. We basically have a whole Windows machine running in there, and you're actually running two operating systems at the same time. So more more RAM, a very good idea. Installing Parallels is very similar to the installation process that you do with Boot Camp. Basically, you install the application, you can download it from the internet or get it from a package that you purchase in the store, and then a little utility will install and set up a system for you to install Windows Vista or Windows XP on your computer. And again, you need a licensed copy of Windows in order to do this. You're going to be running a fully registered and licensed copy of Windows, and that is not included with the software. You have to purchase that separately. Now, I've already installed Windows Vista here on this Mac running under Parallels, and the actual installation took about 45 minutes to an hour. Most of the time was actually spent installing the copy of Windows. The uh, installation of Parallels itself was just a few seconds. Now, once it's installed, I can now run it in a window as it's doing right now. So we see here kind of a layering happening. We've got the Macintosh operating system running in the background, and thinly on top of the Macintosh operating system is the Parallels desktop. And here we see Vista running with in that window. So we can see these kind of layers going from Macintosh to Parallels Desktop, which is this kind of this blended layer here, through to Vista itself. Now I want to show you one of the tools that's built into this, and this is called the Parallels Desktop Tools. And this tool center gives us the ability, it tells us all of the different things that it's synchronizing between our different operating systems. And most important here is the ability to synchronize your clipboard. So you can actually copy text or graphics back and forth from one environment to another. Now, you're probably wondering why you would want to be running Windows within a Mac in this way, why you'd want to be running them at the same time. Well, let me give you a great example. Let's say you're a web developer developing a website. Websites need to be tested in every operating system and in every web browser. An Internet Explorer is not available on the Mac, but Internet Explorer, of course, is available here within Windows. So now you can code all of your website on your Mac, which is a great development platform, and then you can test it on the Mac in Safari and in uh, Firefox and other Mac web browsers, and then go over and test it in all of the Windows web browsers, including within Internet Explorer, within your Parallels desktop version of Windows running. That's one great solution for dealing with a kind of a sticky problem where you need multiple machines. And of course, there's other areas that you're going to want to use it, such as installing those vertical applications like an accounting application or a contact management application that's unique to Windows that you need access to. Plus the ability now to be able to copy information from the Windows operating system directly across to the Mac and back and forth, that gives you some tremendous extra flexibility as well. Now I'm showing you this in a windowed mode right now, in other words, where Windows is running within a smaller window within the Mac. On a larger screen, you can actually make the Windows partition full screen so you feel like you're working right within a real Windows machine. This is a lethal combination. You do need to make sure that you got plenty of RAM to make this whole solution work, but really, most systems today have a lot of RAM. And the fact that the applications run a little bit slower in emulation than they would in native format is more of a psychological issue than a real one. The power of this core duo still means that the performance is pretty darn good. Now, you might notice that I'm a big fan of this solution. I think it's elegant, practical, and it's proven. If you don't need to run a lot of Windows applications, well, then the parallel solution allows you to have the best that both worlds have to offer. Want more information on the products we've covered on today's show? Then check out our new website. We've got podcasts, streaming video, and a searchable database going all the way back to our first season. Check it out at dottotech.com.